Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to TMNT Mutant Madness. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what you can look forward to coming to this game. The developers have a roadmap, and the community manager has recently posted that on their official Discord. So we're going to go ahead and go over that really quick so we can see kind of what's coming up for the rest of the year and first part of next year. But first, before we jump into all of that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, Consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Before we jump into all this, just a quick reminder, the links to all my social media are in the description of every video, so definitely check it out there. Join us on Discord where we're talking about the game, tips, tricks, strategies, and everything turtles. And then uh, I do stream two to three times a week on Twitch. The uh, link is in the description below as well. If there's any updates to that schedule at all, I will typically put it out on my community tab on my channel. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this is really cool. We do have a development roadmap here. Again, the community manager has posted this. And if you want to take a look at it, we're going to do a high level look at this. So um, if you want to do a little bit more of a deep dive, definitely go to their Discord and check it out there. Um, all right. So just kind of what do we currently have in progress? In season one right now, we have Dimension X. So we have the Dimension X story. Um, you'll see that unfold as you're completing missions and stuff currently in the game we have the turbo clash in october that ended that was where we were in pvp and we had 15 uh, chances to run pvp rather than the normal 10 so we had that running through the uh the month of october we also had some halloween events some quality of life updates that were made as well and i do like it i mean we have the times four which is awesome because if you're just doing an auto battle that times four makes it go so much quicker, especially when you're climbing up the tower, um, the uh, Channel 6 Rush. Uh, it does make that go much quicker. So it does limit the amount of time that you have to spend in the game. I always I always like that. If I already know I'm going to go on auto, just go ahead and put it on 4x four, four and then you're good. And then obviously we have Channel 6 Rush, which is just that tower mode I was just talking about. You're going up and you're climbing that tower as far as you can. The cool thing about Channel 6 Rush that's different than the campaign that we currently have is as you're going up that tower, if you get stuck when it refreshes, because it refreshes daily, it's going to drop you down 10 levels so that you can go ahead and run those 10 levels again so you can continue to get those rewards. So it's, it's a way to farm in the game that we typically, well, before Channel 6 Rush came out, we didn't have an opportunity before. So now we can get hero bits. Um, if you get above, if you at least hit 251 and get above that, that floor, then you're going to start getting two, um, two star here, uh, two four star hero bits. Let me get my facts straight here. So that starts at 251. Um, so you'll start seeing that, which is great because then you can, you have a steady flow of those four star hero bits, which become more and more critical the further you get in the game and you really start needing those four star heroes because you can put any tier list, you can put any top 10 out. It's not going to matter if, if you don't have have the team at the star level required to continue to move through the game because it's not just about the characters and the synergy with those characters it's the star level and how strong you can get those characters because there is there is a cap there so channel six rush definitely helps with that um coming up so starting on the 12th so that's going to be coming up this coming week november 12th to january 7th uh, we have season two coming out and what is that is that next thursday yeah, it's next Thursday because next Friday is Friday the 13th. But anyway, we got season two. We got Channel 6 Chills, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to just run down through there really quick. So we have, um, obviously, we have Channel 6 Rush. We have new season story. Join the Turtles as they explore the frozen over blizzard covered New York City. So that would be cool. Just kind of see what that storyline has to say. We have a beta testers initiative. So if you, one thing I did notice is you have to, you have to be playing this game on an Android if you want to be part of this beta testers initiative. And essentially, you apply, and if you're selected, you can you can play and give feedback on some of the upcoming features in the game. I unfortunately cannot because I play on an i on an iOS device. But uh, if you're interested in that, definitely do that because it's it, it's always cool to be able to test something before it comes out and give feedback and shape kind of how the game goes because the developers. Everybody, they rely on the feedback that comes back in order to tweak and make these game modes and, and evolve the game to a state that everybody enjoys, right? 
obviously not going to make everybody happy, but the majority, obviously, is is what the goal is. So anyway, if you're interested in that, um, you can go ahead and apply that there. Clan Clash. This is something that's super exciting. We have Dimensional Clashes expanding to give rewards based on clan participation. I like that. So it, it gives more of a reason to be in a clan and to get these rewards. So it says uh, participation in rankings in addition to solo rewards. Get your clan ready for the fight. So clans want to start communicating more because right now there's really no reason to other than you're climbing through the battle pass, ranking up those so you can get your ooze production bonuses and everything. But that was really the only reason to be part of clan. Now they're starting to give us more reasons why we want to be in a clan. We have this clan clash and uh, I think that's going to be really, really cool. And then we have um, hero and layer expansion. So we're going to see that 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 layer continue to expand. We just recently had the heroes, the uh, Channel Six Rush added. There's also something called Sewer Surfers coming. I don't know if that's the next thing. Um, I don't think it was on here, but Sewer Surfers is coming. I saw it in an advertisement. I also saw it in an interview uh, that was recently given in the month of October. So don't know exactly what Sewer Surfers is, but. I don't know. Sounds interesting. It's my clan's name. So, you know what? I have to be interested. <laughs> so, um, they're also talking about expanding the max hero level. So, I don't know if they're going to expand it based on based on star level, because currently that's what it is. Um, it's based on star level. You can only go up so high. So, I don't know if they're going to allow you to go higher per star level or or what that looks like. But I'm going to assume probably that's it, but you know what happens sometimes when you assume. So that is uh, what's coming out in season two. Again, that's between November and January 7th. Now coming into 2021, we have season three, which is time travel, which I think is a really cool idea. So this story for um, for time travel coming up, thrown back in time to feudal Japan. We've seen, we've seen movies, the, uh, the TMNT movies that have taken us back to feudal Japan. We've also seen it in the cartoons. It's cool. So it makes sense. Leonardo has learned the ways of the samurai, help Leo's brothers find him and discover three new heroes along the way. So we have three new heroes along the way there. And I think I thought, yep, right up here, new season. When it comes into season two, I skipped that three heroes coming as well. So we have three, we have six new heroes coming, I have no idea who they are, but we do have six new heroes coming. So that's pretty cool there as well. So that's the new story. And then Clan Siege, this is something super, super exciting. Join forces with your clan members to fight other clans. I have no idea what that's gonna look like in game or whatever, but that is super exciting as well. So there's a whole lot of stuff coming up in this game. This whole first six months of this game is super exciting because we got some very cool stuff, very cool game modes that are coming into the game. Plus, you know, they're fighting all the bugs and everything that, um, that tend to come up. And so the feedback there is very critical as well. So that's the roadmap. I'm gonna go ahead and center it up here. We got some very exciting stuff coming up for the rest of the year and coming into 2021. Really interested in your thoughts on what's coming up with this game. What do you think about the game and how it's evolving? Because we've had some cool changes coming. And what are you most excited for that is coming up on this roadmap? All right, everybody, as always, I wanna thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.